Hey friends, Dylan Bates here with the Final Cut Pro. Today I have a really fast tutorial for you showing how to use audio rolls to greatly enhance the speed of your editing workflow. Audio rolls may not seem extremely exciting, but once you use them, you'll actually never want to go back. You'll notice on my timeline there's different colors for different audio types. There's the blue for the dialogue, green for music, and cyan for the sound effects. Now this is helpful just for quickly navigating and seeing what is what, but it's also helpful for some other reasons. You can actually right click on any sound effect and go down to assign audio roll and you can select dialogue, effects, or music. Now let's say I wanted this to actually be a dialogue track, I can just select that. And now that will jump up here to the dialogue section. Now if yours isn't jumping around like that, that's because you don't have audio lanes enabled. So if we click here, audio lanes will be disabled and you can move these around, but it'll automatically keep them pretty well sorted for you, which is really handy for getting around your audio tracks very quickly. Now let's say that I want to change this back to an effect, we can right click, go to assign audio rolls and change it to effect, or we can push control option E and that will jump it down there. Likewise, if we wanted to change this to maybe a music track, we could do control option M and that'll turn green and go into the music section. And if we really wanted to organize it, we could click on show audio lanes and that will just break them apart in a way that's a lot more visually easy to understand. Additionally, we can actually drag around the different audio lanes um, so we can work on what we need to and still be close to our visual side of the video. So let's say that we're working just on effects. Well, I can click and drag the effects line up to the top here, and that will go above the dialogue and the music. Additionally, if I wanted to solo them even more, I can click this circle button here, and that will essentially shrink down the size of everything except for this one audio lane type. And then when we're done, we can click on it again and everything will expand back to its normal size. You can also do this with two audio tracks if you hold shift and then you can just have your music tracks uh, shrunk down. Another great thing about audio rolls is you can actually disable a certain audio type really quickly rather than going through and selecting each one and then pushing V to disable. So if we go over here, you'll see these checkboxes and then we can just disable dialogue or disable music and just have our effects playing through which is actually really great for mixing your audio and just making sure that certain sound effects are coming through um, really well. And we can jump over to our dialogue. If we wanted to work just on dialogue, we could drag this back up to the top. They're the perfect embodiment. And you'll just notice that it's just playing the dialogue tracks. And then when you're done, you can re-enable all of those. So that's all super handy. Now let's say that you don't like the included audio rolls. Well, we can come down here to the bottom and click edit rolls and we can actually create our own rolls. So let's say that we have music sound effects. We could click add audio roll and we'll just do music sound effect and you can leave it at the color that it sets or you can set your own color by clicking this color wheel and let's say we want it to be uh we'll do a red color or orange burnt orange you know whatever you think it is <laughs> unless you're colorblind sorry about that um anyway so now we have this additional audio roll and we can just apply that and now we can right click any track and actually that's a compound clip so that won't work you have to do that within let's see if i open it up right click assign audio roll and now my music sound effect uh roll is there which is really handy for just assigning your own tracks. One last amazing feature for audio rolls is the ability to export a multi-track. So let's go up to file, share, export file. So if we jump over here to rolls, you'll notice the ability to select rolls as multi-track QuickTime file or QuickTime movie or separate files audio only as separate files and these are all really handy for being able to export all of your audio but keep it separated now i really like the multi-track ability because when we export that you can drag your video back directly into final cut pro and it will actually have the audio all separated out um, per roll so all your effects will be on one track all your dialogue will be on one track all your music will be on one track so it's really handy for um, passing on your video to somebody else to maybe do some final touches for audio and um, also if you happen to lose your project file and you have no way to go back and edit your video you'll still have those separated audio tracks 
So those are just some really handy features that come with audio rolls. I hope this is helpful for you. Um, go ahead and give it a try. It's a little annoying to get used to in the beginning, but once you get used to it and add it to your workflow, it really speeds things up and it really makes it nice down the road while you are editing. Thank you guys so much for watching. I seriously do appreciate it. I can't believe we're already almost at 700 subscribers in just this short amount of time. If you want to see more videos just like this one, consider subscribing and I would really, really appreciate it. Also push that like button if you gained any value from this video. And until next time, my friends, peace.